Hi there everybody, welcome back to another video. I am feeling really excited today to do a bit of a DIY. As with all DIYs, I've got no idea how this is going to turn out. It's completely made up in my mind, you know. It's just a little thought I had of trying to do a DIY that was going to be cheap, easy and also look really nice. So fingers crossed it works out. <laughs> if you follow my vlogs closely you'll know that I got these beautiful rocking chairs recently and I was having this conflict. I always have this conflict. I really dislike the colour black or even dark grey. It just, there's something, I, my brain is just like burp burp burp. I hate it. <laughs> so the table we've got outside is like a a gunmetal kind of colour, it's like a really dark grey slash black and I really wanted to change it to either white or green, like an olive green and so many of you said in that vlog, you know, okay go with olive green and I thought yes we will try it and I got some tiles which I will show you once we get outside that are from Amazon. I really wanted to do like a mosaic table and <laughs> the thought of doing it with grout and actual like pieces I don't know, there was something about it that made me stop and think, mm, I don't know if it's going to work and I really don't want to destroy the table if it doesn't work. My main problem was if it was going to be uneven because at the end of the day it's a table for our coffee cups to go on. So we will try it the first time and if this doesn't work out then I will definitely try and do it properly in the future and there's nothing saying that we can't redo things and try again but part of the process is just having fun and just spending a bit of time outside as well which I'm super excited about today. So thank you all so much for being here. Um, let's go off into the garden and I can show you some of my beautiful flowers that have blossomed and if you are waiting for a garden vlog you won't have to wait very much longer because there is one coming for you guys tomorrow. <laughs> it looks pretty windy outside so before we go out there I thought I'd just show you the tiles. So it was a pack, I think there is 20 of, I think there's two of each one so I'm going to be able to kind of mix and match these as I like. I do have a big table out there as well that I really want to do but I don't think I have enough tiles for so today we'll do the little one and then we'll see if in the future I'll do the other one and I just want to see how it turns out too because we've also got footstools and chairs and I'm talking myself into a bigger project than I signed up for here <laughs> so this is the tiles and they're like they kind of have that little nod of the grey that I've got in the chairs outside but also bringing in like some warmer colours as well which is all I want you know I just want it to look soft and warm because it's a cottage garden at the end of the day. The colour paint I got is this colour which is Bay Tree and it's just an outdoor paint for metal we'll see what colour it actually looks like. The dodgy thing about paint um, that is olive green is sometimes it can actually look grey which is not the colour we are going for but to be fair a light grey is an improvement for me over a dark grey. <laughs> So I've got these, got my paintbrushes, I'm going to make myself a nice cuppa and then we will head outside. So this is the area I'm talking about and as you can see it's grey with this darker metal. We do also have footstools as well and the parasol so I just think it's going to brighten it up a little bit and add a bit more colour because at the minute it kind of blends in with the house which isn't what we're going for. I was going to leave the audio in for this video but as you can hear someone is strumming and that is not a very peaceful sound <laughs> but the garden is looking very much like a jungle the grass is so long so I'll show you some of the flowers that have blossomed so first of all my peonies finally did oh look at that it's so beautiful it's a shame they're so heavy <laughs> and this one as well the lupins have gone absolutely wild some of them are past the best and then some are still popping up. The hydrangeas all still doing their own thing but yeah it's looking very much very wild right now and we do desperately need a little afternoon in the garden trying to sort this mess out because it's just growing and growing and growing <laughs> and there's nowhere for it all to grow into and the grass being this long I think it just adds to uh, adds to the dramatic effect of the wild look. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is paint the table legs so that they can be dry in. I've just put it upside down. <laughs> I've upcycled. This is all about upcycling the um, box from the rocking chairs so that I don't get paint everywhere and I've brought them down here so that I don't get paint on the patio because we spend so much more time up at the top than we do down here. Um, but yes, I'll show you the paint brushes I've got. I got a little Ron Seal one which is like precision finish and then I also got this one here for like finer details. How loud is that strimmer? <laughs> this always happens every time I try and film someone goes and does something really loud in their gardens but we're all allowed to do our own thing in our gardens I guess. I just wish we all had our own bubble you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought just like tiny little paintbrushes would make this task a little bit easier till I've started it. I've got no idea how it's actually going to go, so I'm looking forward to it. I love a bit of a painting session. <laughs> I seem to have friends. <laughs> they're very excited about the paint. <laughs> oh can't, dear. Can't go down <laughs> well, so far so good. I am happy with the colour. I think it's looking really, really nice. Um, I just thought it was really funny. You look like one of those crazy dog walkers with like 17 <laughs> dogs, except for its cats, and that probably makes it more crazy. Yes. <laughs> anyway, carry it on. <laughs> I am super happy with how it's turning out. I am covered in paint. <laughs> Good job I took my engagement ring off. I really like the colour. I will show you the difference once it's more dry, but we have a green paint already down here on the door and the wall on this side, and it's more of a grey. And to be honest, I do like it. Dom's always said, you know, it looks more grey to him. And to be fair, now I can see this new green. I totally agree. <laughs> so I may do that as a project in the future, you know, just completely redo all of down here. It's also made me catch the bug and now I want to paint all of the grey things in our life green. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a very busy little while but I'm just gonna drink my coffee and just have a sit down while that dries and then I can just do the little touch-ups like I did before and then I can just say you know it's done and I can just let it dry but then I can start work on the mosaic tiles which I am a bit nervous about because it's a very small table and they are very big tiles but we'll see time will tell
Oh my gosh you guys, I am super duper happy with how that turned out. I really didn't know what to expect and I feel like all DIY projects kind of start like that and they either end well or end in a disaster so I am very happy <laughs> that it was money well spent. As you saw whilst I was doing it I was having issues with the paint not being quite dry. Metal paint tends to take quite a while to dry and so it was a bit tacky still. That combined with the sticky back plastic you know, they're not a match made in heaven, that's for sure, but I've just gone back over it and when it's dry tomorrow I can just go over and just get any bits that need an extra touch up, but really, really pleased with it. The one thing I will say that I am going to try and figure out <laughs> is how to waterproof the entire thing. The actual tiles are waterproof, but I'm conscious and I know from past experience that when the water sits on the table, which it will, it will get underneath each tile and it will start to fade and discolour the tiles, which I don't want to happen. So I'm going to get either a big piece of uh, sticky back plastic, you know, the kind of stuff we've got on our front door that kind of... I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> Ours is translucent and the one I'm going to get is transparent so you can see completely straight through it and all it's going to do is act as a barrier so that the water can only kind of get in through the edges or I could use some kind of resin or like sealant but I need to actually go to B&Q and maybe ask some people what, they're <laughs> what they recommend but yes I've definitely caught the bug and I feel like I may do the big table as well and all of the chairs. I'm not entirely sure that the footstool really works. I'm not sure if the green and the grey kind of clash. So let me know what you guys think because obviously our entire set of um, chairs for the table that we've got are like the same colour as that stool was and so I'm a bit cautious to do the same thing but I really love how the table turned out and I want our big table to look the same. It just blends in so much better with the house and just the vibe of the garden. It makes me super duper happy but I hope this has inspired you today to do your own DIY projects and to not be too scared. It's cost me hardly anything to do that today but the amount it's made me happy and the amount of fun I had was worth every single penny but thank you so much for watching I'll make sure I include any DIY videos I've got down below as well as my many many garden videos and like I said earlier on in the video be sure to watch out tomorrow for my garden extravaganza <laughs> video <laughs> wouldn't be me without a garden video every other week uh, but I know you guys do like them but thank you so much for being here I really hope you all enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up on your way out and subscribe if you're new but I cannot wait to see you all again in my next video and I hope you all have a really wonderful rest of your week.